full episode on that topic attribution of credit credit sharing oh my that is one big pain isn't it communication and feedback or the lack of it and of course budget allocation every time you ask for money you don't get any <laughs> so these are the top misunderstandings or misalignment where they form the crux of the blame game between marketing and sales so let's jump right in and try and understand point by point and along the course of course something new uh, strikes me i will go in that direction share some insights and anecdotes from the various experiences that i've had and see if it makes you think and or address your problem a little differently so let's first start with identifying the first problem misalignment of goals so this is a story of one of those missed quarters you know the ones where yeah the ones where you miss the forecast the gloom and doom is set in in the boardroom or the huddle room or the conference room wherever you having the business review and all the stakeholders all the parties quote unquote guilty parties are summoned for a business review probably the next day of the results declaration or or maybe end of the quarter or beginning of the quarter the numbers are evident you're going to miss it anywho and so the presentations begin and marketing presents a very beautiful snazzily designed powerpoint presentation I mean, they do a fabulous job the graphics are fabulous the data sounds as if it has just been researched fresh of some algorithm that they had made up but anyhow it looks like amazing piece of data and when the presentation finished and the person asked are there any questions someone from sales popped their head up and said so when was the last time marketing generated any revenue from any of the marketing activities <laughs> you can imagine the awkward silence that spread across the room you could hear the pin drop you could hear the air conditioner ventilator you could even hear people breathing very hard and you can imagine the tension the palpable tension in the air that now somebody is going to erupt and burst and stuff like that and but to my surprise the person actually acknowledged that yep it's incredibly difficult to tie end revenue with the activities that marketing does we guys are responsible for activities you guys are responsible for outcomes so somewhere you can question the activities but you can't question the outcomes we can question you on the outcomes but we can't question you on the activities can we and that kind of set me thinking like wow is it true that marketing is not res- 